We've come up with a formula for prayer based off the Our Father prayer in Matthew 6, 9-13 that is both efficient and helpful. This is a great strategy whether you are a practice prayer or brand new to it. So you're going to start off by acknowledging God. You can call him pretty much whatever you're comfortable with. God, Lord, Dad. And then you align yourself. Aligning yourself means that you make sure that your heart and your intentions are in the right place. And you do this by saying, may your kingdom come and may your will be done. Then you count your blessings. You thank God for all that he's done in your life and in the lives of others. Then you say your sword. This means that you ask for forgiveness for all the things that you've done wrong. And you forgive those who've done wrong to you. Then it's story time. You tell God all about your day, all of your struggles, all of your victories, giving him a detailed account of everything that you've gone through today. Then you admit your needs. You ask God for help, especially for the bigger problems and things you can control, like the people around you and the world itself. Lastly, you call for help. You ask God to lead you away from sin and walk you out of temptation. Finally, you sign off, and you do this by saying, in Jesus' name, Amen. You can add whatever flourish you want to it, but as long as you say, in Jesus' name, you'll make sure that you're praying the way you should be. Now you can follow these steps however you want to, but just make sure that you're following them so that you're giving God a detailed account of your life. Personally, I like to blend all of these categories together. And when I talk to God, I tend to give him a chronological account of my day, making sure that I'm including all that we've talked about. And a good strategy for prayer is getting yourself in a quiet place where you can spend some time alone with God. This helps you solely focus on the prayer. Now, it doesn't matter how you're praying. You can pray kneeling, standing, sitting, whatever you want, as long as you're able to focus on your conversation with him. So here's some advanced tips to include in your prayers if you'd like to. You can ask God to help you know Him more. You can ask God for you to be more like Him. And you can ask God to make Himself the foundation of your life and the relationships you have with other people. Prayer is a conversation with God. How many times a day you want to do it, it's up to you. How long you want to do it, when you do it, is up to you. Just like you want to establish relationships with other people, and to do so you have to talk to them more, it works the same way with God. If you want to know him better and get closer to him, you have to talk to him. And following this formula for prayer allows you to cover all of the important aspects of your life, making sure that nothing is left out and you're giving everything you can to God. By following these steps, your prayers are definitely going to improve, as well as your relationship with God.